so what dinos are we planning to play as? Um, I want to kind of do Alberta Ceratops again because, like, they are pretty good dinosaurs. Let's see. Yep, I got my third party recording going. Yep, understandable. So let's go into Herbivore and let's go ahead and just start doing the Alberta Ceratops. And you had heard that probably for his left <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he could have joined at any point in time. But I'm going to go ahead and go with Balance, just because I think that's still the best one. Let's see. Gonna pick a skin even though it's not gonna matter once we get in. The nice thing is the semi realism for the most part follows the same rules as the second one, that. right? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's the second one. That's the only one I see. Yeah, like, um, it should say semi realism for it. Yes, it does. Alright. So six people are on. <laughs> Yeah, not many yet, and I'm just going to do that randomized name of Flame Spirit. Then I'm going to go ahead and enter into the world. Oh, there's no tutorial. All right. <laughs> we don't have to deal with the tutorial on here. I get my so, I'm Alberta. Gonna... I'm getting my colors designed real quick. So for us... We are going to take, let me see how long. Coming on my game for a quick second for it. Um, let's see. So we are a tier two. So we're going to take about three hours. So we can have up to eight dinos in our group of adults and subs mixed together. We can have as many hatchlings, juvies, and adolescents as we want. And so we tend to be pretty social and we'll mingle with a lot of other species. Mingle. Alright. Okay, here we go. I'm starting my shed now. Then they probably have these things blocked for the most part. Alright. Let me know once you're in so I can send you that party invite. Yeah. All right. Oops, that's the wrong thing there. Sent you a group invite. All right. So it wants us to be a redwood basin. I'm just trying to look for the meet up point right now. So, all right. Let's run to the meet up point. And with luck, Phoenix will be joining in soon. It'll be great if we could get, like, Gator and everyone, too. And just all start playing Alberta Ceratops. Guessing is, yeah, I'm guessing it's the green thing. Yeah, the green, yeah. green, green thing. Green thing. English. <laughs> yep, the dark green is the one we had, to for our meetup. Like, I already got the meetup point. So I know I have lychees right along here. So I'm going to go ahead and start grabbing them for my quest, which is the red one. Oh, do you not want me to start grabbing them for the blue, uh, yeah, um, cobalt? Green? You can start doing it now. Okay. The reason I was asking is because it has red, but I still gotta make my way. Yeah. Oh, I know where, I know where we're at. Mm-hmm. Just like our meetup up yesterday. It will last what night. Well, it's not only that, like, where I spawned, it's like, where the water and the food is. It's like where the one home cave is. Ah, oh, you spawn like right down there. All right. <laughs> it spawned me in the redwood forest itself. So I know like we probably won't have too, too much competition just yet since there's so few people on so far. But with luck, it'll get more popular. It's just like there's only so few people because they're literally, we joined 12 minutes after it opened. Mm hmm Appeared in like a second. Mm hmm It's just like, okay, it's service open, time to hop in and record it. And probably what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to record like one long session, since I'm sure we're going to be playing this for a while. 
And what I'll do is I'll just cut it down into 20 to 30 minute episodes. A long way to go. <laughs> and then it's like, of course, every time it's like if we decide we want to play something else, then we can always switch over to another dinosaur and then go back. It's just how kind of multiple group, multiple types of series going. Yeah. <laughs> Granted. Hey. Hmm? hey, like, I did not realize how far I was, but that's okay. <laughs> I may not going down that way. <sighs> Because I spawned right where that one home cave is by the big water. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I've I made this journey before. Yeah. With Phoenix. Alright. So it looks like we do have a bit of passive grow as well, which is going to be nice. Well, you don't have to constantly do the quest, or it's just... Yeah, like, as we're doing quests, like, we'll grow without the quests, too. But that type of grow is very, very slow. And I guess we'll see in a moment, actually. Like, Well, I mean, obviously there's passive grow. No, I'm not even thinking. But um, I guess we'll see in a moment here if the quest will help us. Yeah, so you get the boost still a little bit. Like, not a whole, whole lot. But I'm going to go ahead and go up to 100 light chiefs. That way, then you can get the other 100. But with luck, the server will become popular pretty quickly here. And it looks like they can have a max of 100 players, too, which is going to make this even better. And it's like, maybe if you want, like, next thing we can play as, like, later on, would be, like, maybe Aloe's. <laughs> yes, because I have experience with Aloe in this game. Same. Aloe's are deadly in this game. Like, when I was playing on Asura, like, Emmy and I were both just ju- her no, we were adolescent allies. Between the two of us, we almost killed four adolescent Despletos. Kind of like, it's just, this is like, the same rule is like, if there's a body down on someone that they can't kill. Yeah. I can okay. read off the rules in a moment here. Well, I know, I do remember this, which is the good part about this server, is because me and Phoenix were heading into the uh, Wavestone. Mm-hmm. And we both got attacked by the same thing, and it would not, like, it would not leave us alone. Yeah. It went after her, then it went after me, and then it just eventually killed her, and I was trying to get away to heal my bleeds and stuff, and it would not stop. It just kept coming at, uh, at me. Yeah, one thing to remember with these guys is they do have trample damage. So if something comes after you, just turn around and run at it. Like, swing your horns constantly while you're running by it. And with luck, you should trample it. That's one thing we're going to have to be careful of when we come out of the home cave, too. Is if people are going into the home cave, we need to be careful not to go running out. Just in case we accidentally cause problems. Yeah. Well, that was the whole issue. is Because I was trying to get her to the wave stone. And I need to know exactly where to go. Even though, like, I didn't have, like, the green thing. Yeah. And it just, it was a car now. Like, I could, it was like one of the little flying, flying birds. Uh -huh. One of the car that looked like, you know, the Shrupy. Alright. Probably Deinonychus or Lieutenant Venetrix. Yeah, it was those two. And it just would not leave us alone. It killed her, and then it, I was trying to get away far enough because I used all my stamina trying to get away from the first time. Mm -hmm. And it just kept coming at us. I was like, dude, literally, go away. Like, we yeah. did nothing to you. Yeah, those guys can be pretty annoying a lot of times. Like, that's literally what they are. They're basically, uh, let's see, what's the most annoying small dinosaur in the aisle that likes to try and hit and run sometimes? I guess in some it ways. It was really annoying. Yeah, in some ways, they're kind of like the Dilo, just not with his deadly. Alright. And I'm definitely looking forward to, like, seeing how long we can keep these guys alive for scale. If we don't actually lose them, lose them. Yeah. I guess we'll see with that, but I don't think they would turn that mechanic on. Would but... be really sad if they did. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think they will because, like, one of the points of this is that you keep those marks so that you can get new skins and everything. That would really annoy people. So I'd assume that maybe we'd lose marks upon death alongside growth. Like, because that would be a fitting punishment, if anything, I'd say. You know? Let's see. Long way to go. Oh. Uh, going up hills, down hills. At least does like what only seven people are on at the moment. Yeah, let's see. We are up to eight people. Okay, do you worry about a iguana? Yeah. Don coming up on top of me. I don't know where. They're green to that iguana Don realized his mistake last night when like I charged in, he's like, oh, it's just an Alberta Ceratops. It's not going to do anything. Until I started making him bleed, and then Gator went and charged him with the Zeo. Then they're like, yeah. oh no, I'm dead if I take too many more of these hits. But I Eating like off a bush, and Gator's <laughs> like, suck, run. And I was like, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running right towards DX and Phoenix. And I mean, it's Good thing, anyways, because the axe was playing as a Dino Kyrus, so they do pretty good damage. Yeah, that's that's what I remember. I was like, if I go towards the axe, I should I should be okay. Yeah, because the Dino Kyrus is basically the fairy of this game. And you know how deadly fairies are, even yeah, they as Juvie. may add it to this game too. I don't think they will. They're trying to keep a somewhat more unique uh, range. That's why, like, they don't have a Rex. It's because they're trying to keep it a little bit more unique compared to the Isle and other famous dinosaur games. There we go. So when you get to me, Love you'll it. go ahead with the other 100. The Once 100. I get to you, yeah. I'm in the uh, Highlands right now. Uh, yeah, I know you'll see you on the map yet. So, I'm going to start working on my red quest for pine cones now. Red quest for um, eight coins, but I'm not really going to worry about it because I'm not in that area anymore. Yeah. Oh, and I just looked at, if you look in your social at the party, look how many slots we have. Whoa. A lot. Yeah, because it's like, because the way that they have the grouping in here, they had to make sure that everybody could fit for each grouping. And that would be a pain, though, to be honest, because some dinosaurs take up one slot, some take up four slots. So, I mean, it's nice to see. And I wonder, that actually might work, too. I have a question here. What if, say, you have, like, your max number of adults, and, like, it's something that goes past right to the limit. You have somebody that's one slot and it goes over. Would it automatically kick them from the party? Hmm. Maybe. That could be interesting. Because I know we take up three spots when we're full week around. Yeah. And now one thing also, since I'm going to say it's part of the video, it's like one thing to note about the way that the growth works in this game is there's no, oh, I'm just going to stay as a juvie the whole time, or the adolescent the whole time. The game would just force you to grow, no matter what. Yeah. So, we got to be very careful about it, so it's definitely best to keep us in a Discord call, I'd say. That way we can constantly monitor each other's growth to make sure that we don't go over the pack limit. Granted, like, we don't have too many people who would go over. I believe mixed herding would be allowed per the rules. So, let's so like, see. the, uh, I think Alberto and Triceratops can actually work together. Yeah. Obviously, like, I'd assume, like, we can have our eight Albertas and the four Eos. I believe Eos are four. Yeah. 
we'd probably be able to do like eight Albertas and four Eos in one group, and that's it. Like, buddy. So it's like that's one of the things that's gonna be pretty fun. And it's gonna be better than the Isle because you can actually add those people to your group. But as you know, sorry, that's why I learned to like get so much experience experience in this game before hopping into it. Sure. And then the aisle, um, yeah, whenever we did the aisle, how long are you planning to keep your style? I don't know yet, to be honest. Like, I'll probably try and keep it as long as possible. Because, because it's a, um, a mm -hmm. patron dino. Yeah. And it's like, that was pretty powerful. I had a Spino staring me down already, and he decided against going after me. He's just like, uh, yeah, no thanks. I don't want to deal with a full-grown Stego. Granted, I have- I was asking, is because, like, whenever you do get back into it, I'll be, like, at Coast Upon, and- Yeah. Then it's like, first no. thing I need to do is get food when I first log in. Yeah, there's a ton of bushes up the mountain. Because I'm on second screen when I logged out. <laughs> oh, hopefully you can make it to the food in time, which I think you should be able to. Lucky and just, like, sniff and there'll be, like, a bush right next to me. Yeah. Ooh. Did not mean to do that. Oh, we're up to ten people. Ten people, ten people, ten people. So now my question is... How many carnivores are we going to have so far on the server? Be those people that probably picked the, one of the most annoying dinosaur. Yeah. Granted, like, I believe it's the uh, Deinonychus has a really funny profile. So, for it, let me scroll up to real quick. This is for the Deinonychus. Their packs are usually led by a dominant female that is worshipped by the rest of the pack. Subordinates often try to cater to the every whim of their queen, bringing her gifts, food, etc. Subordinates are fiercely protective of their queen, often giving up their own life to defend her. So, like, that's going to be really funny, to be honest. It's literally like a hive of bees. Alright. And when I did the test videos earlier to make sure everything was working properly, I was happy to see that it looked like uh, the FPS was running great. There was no freezes in the video or anything. So with luck, we should be doing pretty well here. I shall make my way to you still. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Any stickos? <laughs> I guess I know what that guy is so far. He has a sticko. I wonder about the water, because I think the water, they can fix it where you can, like, it goes up faster here, maybe? I don't know. That would be nice. You have a way to travel. Mm-hmm. Let me see where I'm at. Pretty close. I went from, like, one of the home caves all the way to here. I like how I said, oh, well. Oops, did not mean to do that. Well, I made this journey before. Yeah, I'm going to tell Phoenix on this right now. <laughs> you tell me if I did the thing and it only took us four second. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Yeah, and it's not taking too, too long to grow these guys, which is nice. The I don't have to use that stupid, stupid night vision anymore. Yeah, because, like, the nights in this game aren't dark. 
in like in like in the aisle. Yeah, that that really dark. Because mm -hmm. the next thing they're working on is the sniffing for, but I thought I was can't sniff anyways. And I think that they're going to be adding in um, nesting really soon too, which is going to be really good. Oh, I see your name. He. <laughs> I said I was definitely coming up. Yep, yeah, I'm heading back up the hill to you. With the funny way that my guy walks. Or, well, runs. Right over here, you can just see all the bellies and stuff. Yep. Oh, we got another foraging quest. I haven't even made it to the first one. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. That was interesting. Hey, you want a cookie? I, yeah, I, I told her the next time she comes over and asks if was that the one I'm playing a path down Titan, please don't ask for anything. Yeah. She felt very bad, really bad for it, getting me killed. Mm. Alright. Let's find you the hundred light cheese you need, and then I'll get the other, the other hundred light cheese after. That way we can make sure to split it. Be doing one quest at two quests at once. Here's light cheese. Could have done them on my way here, but like, and that's to you to be honest. If you want to do that at any point in time, but you were still in the area, so I was like, eh. yeah, it's like as long as I'm in the area, it's fine no matter what. But I find it funny that they count it no matter where you are. Oh, here's another it's, bundle. Yeah, it's just the uh, person that leader has to be in that area. Yep. And even then, it's I kind of funny. Yeah, and I could still leave the area and collect, and it would still count. I just had to be back in within two minutes, at least. Or at least that's what I like doing, as you know. Thank you. And I don't know how long this session is going to go. But I guess we'll see, and with luck, like I said. Me and Exum Gator and everybody will be joining us. And I'm gonna laugh if they all hop in again, because all I can say is that I have summoned them again. Here we go, right here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he almost ran over them. Fill up my thirst real quick. And I recommend coming and filling up your thirst as well if you need to. Oh! I think they keep the water at 100. Is here, can you come over and drink too and we'll see? Ooh. I think they lock it to 100. Normally you would have dropped it. Like, we would have dropped it to about 90 or so percent. And look, it's still 100. Ooh. So that's one nice thing that they've kept in. Because that's always the biggest pain by far. But Phoenix will probably be happy about that. Because that means that we can actually stick in an area if we wanted. Granted, traveling is much more fun. Here's two bundles. And I'm already about halfway to adolescence. Which is really nice, too. And soon enough, I'll be getting my back kick once I get those 800 marks, which I'm almost there. And then we'll have to just make our way quickly over to a home cave. We're gonna find food on our way. Ooh. Alright. And sorry about all the on. <laughs> Yeah, once we get you to 100, then I'll work on the other 100 again. That nice back and forth. And I'd say with Alberta, Ceratops are kind of mid-level. Here's some more. Because we have decent speed and decent uh, defense. We also have fairly good speed for a Ceratops again, which makes it really, really nice. 
and I know, like, when I go change my head attack, I am definitely going to be going with the bite attack. Because that bleed is really, really good. There's two bundles down here. We're going to have, like, those idiots that play on the island. They're like, ah, we're the strongest thing. And then they just see the eye photos, and then they get broken bones. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, we won't do, like, bone break or anything, unfortunately. But we'll do bleed. We combine that with an EO, like get at least one person as an EO in our group at all times, then we're gonna be a scary combo. Need more. Yep. You need like one full one and then a single, and then we're good for you. And then I'll work on the other part. Beacons. I'm reading. Yeah, because the server okay. is slowly beginning to fill up. We got 14 people. Ooh. Let's see, light cheese. Where are these light cheese at? And I guess I'll see in the video soon enough too, if it's like dark at all. Granted, I don't think it's going to be too dark. I'm pretty sure everybody will be able to see. But, you know, better be safe than sorry. <laughs> also, I love that because you know in the aisle that would have broken your leg. Hey, true. You would have been on like first or second stage with a broken leg. Been like, well, gotta sit for a while. Two more. I'm making my way to Costa Pond to y'all. Mm -hmm. I saw two Sagittas, and then I saw a full car Rex, and then I saw two Carnos. <laughs> and I was like, nah, you know what? Um, forget about the water. Um, I'll just head straight. That won't make any stops. Okay. And then it started raining because I wasn't really worried about the thirst as much as I was the hunger. Yeah. But no, it had to rain when I was sniffing. Of course. Alright, so go ahead and grab three from this bundle here, and then I'll work on the rest. There we go. This way I can get that other hundred for that contribution there. Let's see, how many marks do I have now? <laughs> I have 200. And I have 765. You know what's funny? It automatically puts the horn in your thing. Yeah, because they skipped the tutorial cave for us. Like, thank you, because they realized how annoying the tutorial cave is. Like, I know how important it is, but it's annoying. We have to do it with every single one of your dinos. Yeah. Again, people are paying a good claim for why it's not very busy right now. A lot of people are at school or work right now. Because they did it 12 p.m. PST. So, like, any of us who are on EST or even Central Time are basically already done with a lot of things besides work. So we won't have to worry about it as much. That's true. And I'll probably be trying to record this at least two to three times a week. Granted, I'm going to have enough footage for a few days already. Because, I mean, depending on how long the session we do, I might have enough for daily uploads. It's become like cool. a Path the Times channel. Hey. At least now I won't accidentally one call. Yeah. It doesn't work that way in this game. Oh, right. gosh. It's like we have some interesting movements, even. So, like, for some of our stuff, Saki, if you come over and watch, I can show you one of the things we have. Because you already know the shaking and everything. So, it's like. You know, one where it's like you can stretch. It does like a little yawn, too. Wait, where are you at? <laughs> you ran past me. There we go. Alright. So basically, here it is. I... Like, I just find that really cool. And then obviously, there's the shaking off. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a message here. Let's see if I was Phoenix, maybe? <laughs> Phoenix at oh wow Saki and she'll be on soon. Oh. <laughs> Look. Yeah. 
All right, and I'm going to stop it real quick because I want to make sure the video is going okay still. So I'm going to just do a quick stop and then I'll put it back together in a moment. 